What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today, we're here with some Pirate Rumble action, I'm very excited to jump into this video today, a lot of people have been asking, you know, show us Odin in PvP, and it's definitely been one of the most exciting things that I want to jump into today, uh, I'm, I'm really pumped for this video, because I do believe Odin might be one of the best PvP rare recruits, just in general, um, and I, I'm really excited to jump into this, okay, so this is the team that we're running today, you guys could already see it on the stream but this team is not the team I originally was going to go for originally I was planning to use a free spirit team but due to the fact that we unluckily did not pull Kenimon and Denjiro then I felt like I'm going to wait until I pull them then I'll make a full free spirit team with them so the team today is obviously a Psy team and it's a Psy free spirit team our bench obviously isn't free spirit but those are just the bench units that are going to help us later on in the match if one of our mainline units goes down so just the rundown of course we've got Odin because he's the character we want to be showcasing we've got Yamato, Roger and Law as our other legends on this team all of them are probably the best Psy free spirit unit legends you can bring in PvP right now and of of course we can bring Rebecca the other PvP rev recruit because she is also a free spirit unit just great synergy across the board here Rebecca has a good special and a fantastic passive ability but before we jump into it I want to talk about Odin himself what does he actually do in PvP so his passive will give your free spirit characters level 6 health level 6 attack level 3 defense and for the first 40 seconds your side units also get an additional level 3 defense so our entire main line gets level 6 attack health and defense just with this guy alone which is already incredible and then his special ability 31 ct which is definitely quite high but we do have some ct reduction on the team which is good free spirit class teammates get level 7 attack for 20 seconds and then enemies in a large horizontal range for 3.5 times attack and 70 percent chance of action bind for 10 seconds so relatively high chance to action bind the characters that he hits and then 3.5 times attack is so much god darn damage especially when we partner his passive and all the other passives that we have like Yamato for example every time Yamato hits we get an additional level to attack his special gives himself attack before he does the damage so the amount of damage that both Yamato and Odin are going to do against the enemies in this video should be very substantial so I'm very excited to jump into this one so I guess uh, without further ado let's go ahead and find some enemies to take on so the first team we're going to take on is not the most optimal quick team, but it's a quick team nonetheless. Now, I've already made a plenty of videos in the past talking about how I think quick is probably one of the weakest defensive teams you could possibly run right now in PvP. But we're going to give it a try anyway, just to see what Odin is going to do. I'm very excited to see Odin and his damage output. Hopefully, he can hit a lot of the enemies and do, you know, upwards of nearly 10,000 damage. I'm hoping for around 10,000. That's what I'm hoping for. And remember, his damage is in a large horizontal range. When you think of Yamato, Yamato, I think she does like what? Is it, th is it three times or is it four times? I, I can't remember how much, how much, how much you do. She does five times her attack to two enemies, which is obviously a lot, um, but it's only two enemies. Whereas, you know, Odin can hit, uh, you know, a horizontal wide range, which I think is very exciting. So obviously we've got Bellamy, he's going to lower our defense, which obviously sucks. Um, who's going to be going first? Oh, is Odin going to get it? Yeah, here we go with Odin. Dude, he hit 11k. He only hit two characters, but he hit 11k to get rid of the Bellamy. Unfortunately, the Kaido did tank the hit. I think it only did around 6,000 to Kaido. The action bind, very useful though, because Kaido does have a very powerful special. Actually, if we get lucky enough, we actually... Yeah, I think I think uh, Kaido is actually going to go down. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Roger just stayed alive. Dude, we are very, very close to dying, but we have a lot of specials coming through. Hopefully, Magellan can get hit here. Yes, perfect. See you later, alligator. It is just over. There is nothing the opponent can do now. Surely not, right? Law's going to do a bit of fixed damage, which is good. Um, getting rid of Kruzan would be really good. But, you know, if anything, it doesn't really matter at this point. Like, yeah, we're going to get a couple of characters go down here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really mind that. That's not really too bad because we have our bench units. And it's just a, it's a 5v2 at this point. It, there's really not much. 5v1. Yeah, GG. Dude, the amount of damage that Odin is going to do is crazy, right? I mean, that was 10,000 to the Bellamy, like around 6 to 7k, I think, towards the Kaido. Um, especially if we can get that to hit a lot of enemies at once. I mean, that was just, uh, that was a cakewalk. I mean, despite the fact that we did get a couple of characters get knocked out. I mean, it is what it is, you know, you, you've got to expect that in, in PvP, which is why Bench, I think, is probably one of the most important components with team building. Um, that was a very easy team. Definitely, if I was going to go up, go up against a, a quick team in defense, uh, I would definitely opt for, you know, Cat Dog Dex team. Feels way more comfortable and way less prone to dying. 
but despite that, still an impressive showing. Now, I think this is going to be an interesting one. Now, I, I think we might we might lose this game. This is a very annoying team to take on because there are a couple of healers on their team. Their team is just running ultra defense. Luckily, the enemy doesn't have Yamato, so that is a saving grace, I would guess. But the thing is, Komorosaki is a problem unit. Uh, Moria is a problem unit. Reiju can possibly be a problem unit. And the thing is, is once we actually take out one of their mainline units, they have Smoker to come in, which increases the miss chance of our characters, meaning that Yamato won't be able to get her plus two attack. Then again, by the time Smoker comes out, we probably already have that completely stacked up. And Eneru coming in on the bench as well. When he comes on, he gives a lot of defense to, to his team too. So let's see how things go here. Obviously, the target here is to get Yamato and Odin to launch as quick as we possibly can. Ideally, before Moria can launch a special. And ideally, before uh, the Perona puts the debuffs on us. Because Perona can potentially give a lot of debuffs to our characters. So we don't want that to happen. We already got Roger launching, which is good. Which is already going to lower the defense and attack uh, of some of those characters which is going to help out substantially also this giving some defense reduction as well and then we got Odin launching oh this might be good let's see okay that did pretty good damage towards Jozu unfortunately only hit two characters and the action bind did miss good damage and Moria is already gone and I think Komorosaki is almost dead that's incredible holy dude Oh my god, okay, so Komorosaki got a bit of a heal there, so unfortunately Law will not get that KO, but I mean, look at our attack values right now on our team. 45 attack, down to 35, we had a little bit of a buff there, but that is mental, dude, the amount of damage, dude, holy, okay, so we need to get our special charge back, Smoker does pretty decent damage there, but we, we can tank that, that's not going to be a problem, special bind on Yamato, though, have to wait 20 seconds before she's ready, she has a lot of, uh, a lot of health left, so I'm not really too worried about that, the damage over time inflicted from Reiju, level 3 damage over time, could be very detrimental to the team, but let's see what happens here, bit of defense reduction, really, really good, what's their defense right now, their defense defense is still incredibly high, so the fixed damage from Law and Roger is going to be great. Eventually, when Yamato launches a special, it'll be good to get some uh, half stats to the enemy. Uh, and then Odin is just about ready to go. He's sitting in the front line taking those hits. Here we go. Unfortunately, only hit Reiju. That's so bad. We did get the action bind on her, but... Okay, Law hit a lot of characters there. Roger, unfortunately, not ready quite yet. However, when uh, the Yamato launches, we'll be able to get some very good damage output. We've got less than 20, uh, 30 seconds left. I don't think we're going to get this win. Like, we need something miraculous to happen from here in order to get the dub. I, I'm not expecting it. I, I'm really not. I think it's a little bit too late, and we got a little bit unlucky with the placements of the enemies. Okay, and Komorosaki still somehow staying alive, but that is very frustrating. Okay, what do we have? We have Roger, we have Rebecca. Finally, Komorosaki lands down, and we get Roger to do some damage too. And Eneru somehow still staying alive. Very, very frustrating. 17 seconds left. Odin is ready to go. Actually, this could be very, very close. Odin's down! No! Oh, that would have been so good if we got that. Smoothie is ready to launch a special as well. And we've got Whitebeard just about ready to launch a special. We need these specials, like, right now. Oh, this is getting real close. Nine seconds left. Can we get the dub? Yes, we're going to get it. Dude, wow. That was an incredibly close match. Seven seconds left. But that goes to show that is one of the most heavily defensed teams in Pirate Rumble right now. And this team was able to get the, the dub against it, which is just incredible in and of itself. And if we were slightly more lucky, we probably could have ended it sooner considering Odin had his special before he died. If we we're able to launch that... I mean, yeah, we would have definitely won a lot quicker, but still an incredible showing. Just showing how resilient, how tough, and how strong this Psy Free Spirit team is. So I saw this team here, and I was just genuinely curious to see how we're going to perform against it. I do think we're probably just going to whitewash it, but the thing is, is that you never know with Luffy Crew. Luffy Crew are such an anomaly of a character. They do something that no other character in the game does. I'm just genuinely interested to see what the opposing team is going to do against us. I don't think we're going to lose this one, but hey, stranger things have happened, but you never know, right? You just never know. Yamato is still a scary character, doing so much goddamn damage, and also 
so halving our stats that could really spell the end of our run depending on who she targets because i mean with the amount of damage that she does she could definitely just come in ko our yamato ko our odin and then we just don't have a lot of damage output moving forward that could most definitely happen i sincerely hope i didn't jinx that okay so what have we got going here yamato is ready just missing out on the special and our one just missed out on the special as well luffy crew is going to put them all to, to the top and uh this is going to be game over i think <laughs> i think we're gonna lose man oh no it, it all depends on who yamato hits it all depends on who yamato hits luckily otama didn't get the heal there of course it had to hit odin didn't it it had to hit odin i'm actually so mad dude <sighs> Uh, the one character we wanted to showcase very frustrating. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes Remember Luffy does have the revive so we do have to kill him basically twice, which really sucks We already got a KO against someone was that Otama? No, it was uh, Ace and Sabo. Okay. Who are we gonna hit with this? All right, Luffy's on his revive Rayleigh's gone, which is good and who are we okay that targets all of them Wow. Oh my god. Did you see smoothies damage? dude, what? dude Smoothie hit for over 10k on two of the enemies there? Whoa, okay, that was honestly surprising. I mean, despite the fact that Odin was the showcase character, I mean, hey, Smoothie, Smoothie's one of the best PvP recruits, I gotta say, man. She's one of the be best bench units you can bring. Just does so much damage, guaranteed to hit three characters, by the way. Good damage there, great passive, works very well for this team. Uh, it really sucks that Odin went down. Obviously, we wanted to showcase him, but I think we'll get one more match in, just because I really want to see how this team performs. And what better way to test how a team performs up against the strength, free spirit-ish Luffy team? This team terrorized uh, early January, the uh, PvP that came out in early January. This was like the best team on defense. Like there were not really any teams that were created that could 100% kill this team. Uh, just due to the fact that Luffy's obviously such a crazy unit. And also you've got the Final Tap Kid. Uh, Final Tap Kid is a huge problem unit as he can just do that, that damage through defense. And it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes. Once again, we just want to kill him as soon as possible. Also, Jack is such an annoying unit who can just health cut and also give additional defense to the opposing side. Rayleigh can be also problematic, especially below, I think it's 50 or 60%. He gives that additional buff to the, to the opposing side. Uh, versus Ace, he's just a problem unit as well. He just does a lot of damage, so... Uh, we'll see how things go. It all really depends how the cards lie. Um, Odin just missing out on his special activation. The Yamato is ready. Who are you targeting? Jack and Rayleigh, the two most annoying defensive units. Jack is going to launch. We'll get the double health cut, of course, which is really bad. Law is just going to miss. That's a, that's a bit of a shame there. Would be really nice to get rid of Rayleigh quickly here. Oh, Odin actually jumped up the top. Oh, he's hugging heaps here. Hang on. Dude, look at that. Dude, holy! Yo, Odin just KO'd three of them off the cuff. You love to see it, man. Okay, Ace is going to hit us pretty hard here. Yep, okay, we take that very well. And, I mean, at this point, we just... Can we stop Luffy before he launches a special? Yeah, he's gone. Dude, what the hell? I mean, Kid is still a problem, though. Hold up, Kid's going to do so much damage. Oh, wow, he's dead. Wow, 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 wow. Can you believe it? The big problem team that was so hard to beat in January 2022 during the New Year's Pirate Rumble Championship Series, we KO'd it with the Odin Psy Free Spirit team. This is a really good team, guys. This is a very, very good team. And with all of that, that is going to conclude yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one today. If you guys have pulled Odin or Denjiro and Kinemon and used them in PvP, let me know your thoughts and opinions on them down below in the comment section uh because man this is a very fun team to use not only is it fun but it's just it's such a good team as well so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i will see you guys within the next video